Hi, I'm Alex Kidd. I've been producing electronic music for over 30 years. As the founder of 510K Arts, I'm thrilled to share with you Second Light, a streamlined version of Second, our flagship sequences. <laughs> Second Light it includes essential features like gate, hold, pitch, velocity, CC lane, scale quantization, and patterns you can punch in, offering everything you need to start creating intricate rhythms and evolving patterns in no time. First, let's set it up in our session. Create an instrument track in Pro Tools and insert Second Light. You will find it in the MIDI plugins category. Then, insert your virtual synth or external synth right after and select the sound that you like. Let's set the gates that will create the rhythm of our melody. To create an interesting polyrhythm, I'll set the gate number to 5 by dragging the triangle on the top right of the lane. We can hear the rhythm repeating in a pattern of 5 16th notes. Next, let's select a scale in the Global Settings window. For this example, I'm choosing C minor blues, simple and effective. Now, all the values from the pitch lane will correspond to C minor blues. I'm feeling a bit lucky, so I'll generate random values just by clicking on the dice. But first, I'll define the range by accessing the lane menu. You can fine tune quite a bit in the lane menu. Let's give it a try. I like that. I'll reduce the number of steps now. Each lane can be set to its own length, and I've got a sequence of five running against seven, creating an evolving pattern. Let's spice things up a bit. I'll add whole triggers to extend corresponding notes and trigger the glide of the virtual synth. Let's change the number of steps here too. I'll set it to 12. Now, I'll set all velocity values to 80 directly from the lane menu and then increase some cells to the maximum value of 127. This will trigger the accent on my current synth. Finally, I'll set the value in the CC lane to 74, which I know corresponds to the cutoff frequency of my synth. I'll change the play direction of this lane and set it to random. Now, my filter sequence plays randomly. Let's copy the pattern to a second slot and tweak some of the values in the sequence. By clicking on the keyboard button at the bottom left of the pattern window, you can enable instant pattern recall via MIDI, allowing you to create changes in your structure whenever you decide. In the transpose window, you can choose if the transposition happens before or after the scale. It's set to before scale by default, ensuring that every note stays in the selected scale when transposing. This is just a glimpse of what you can do with Second Light. And if you like Second Light, please check out the full version of Second at 510k.de.
It offers even more possibilities while keeping things just as simple. Thanks for watching. <laughs>